Let's open Make Good, and in the Make Good menu, let's select Make Do. First thing we want to do is to create a project. And we want to point to the working directory where our files are going to be. And then give the project a name. In this example, we're not going to edit an existing do file, so we'll leave that blank and say OK, and select what we want to use for our CAD data entry. We have a choice between router, PCB, DSN files, so the Allegro PCB router. We can also use capture binary schematic DSN files. Or choose no CAD data, in which case we're just going to be loading do files for quick editing. But in this example, we want an input with all the CAD data, and we'll select a Spectra DSN file. So we'll select the DSN. And that's our last step. The next step, we'll see the Make Do Do File Editor screen open. And we'll see all the CAD data has been parsed and loaded into Make Do for you to use and view. If I look at the CAD data list, I can see nets, and I can see the pins in the nets, as well as all the other objects. In this example, let's start by just creating a simple wire width command. A little window will open, we'll change the value, and we'll say OK. And the do file command in correct syntax will be written directly to the make do editor screen. We'll see the command has been prefaced by a simple to read comment line, so you can understand it at a future date without knowing syntax. And then we'll see the actual correct do file syntax automatically color coded when it's displayed, so you can see the type of command, the hierarchical object, in this case PCB, and the rule, in this case, width of 5. Let's look at a large do file in a standard text editor. See the text is, as you would expect in a text editor, black on white, might be that way in Word. There's no color coding in this do file, it's just text. Now let's add and load and see the same do file in make do. As soon as it's loaded, make do understands all the text do file commands in context, and it will display and color code for you all the commands to make it more easy to read. Let's add a second more complicated set of commands. There'll be a group of individual commands having to do with clearances, and we'll just change your values so that all the individual clearance rules are written. Now we're going to add another command after these, and I'm going to park my cursor somewhere in the middle of these commands. Maybe I've inadvertently left my cursor there. Now I'm going to add my next command, and make do is going to add the command where the cursor is, which is really not my intent. So I'll run undo. And especially if you're a new user, this will be very helpful. Go to the View, Set Preferences screen. And go to the option for Append Do Commands at End of File. Check that. And I'm going to locate my cursor in the same place that I did before. But this time when I add the command, The new rule will be added and appended to the end of the current do file. This way, as you add commands, the do file will be written, building one command at a time. Thanks for watching.